have the work we've removed, so we're not completing a circuit anywhere. Let's go ahead, check and make sure, whoop, that was still a little high frequency. <laughs> well, that tickles. Why don't crabs share? Because they're shellfish. Okay, okay, okay hold on, hold on, I got, I got a better one. What do you call a man that can't stand? Neil. No, 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 no. All right, all right, guys, so now we've got our plate. That's a new sound. Hey, don't do that. Make sure you give your pipe a good cleaning. Haha. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> Clean your pipe off. <laughs> Brush your welds. To make sure that you don't have any cracks or any holes. Once you've guaranteed that you are crackless or have no cracks. <laughs> so now there's different styles of collet bodies, um, depending on if you're using a collet body or a gas lens. It's good, it's good, it's good. AC oftentimes is going to be used to weld aluminum. I said that really weird. We learned a lot today about how to set up our machines for different types of TIG rings and did uh, torches and you get do 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 I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a boy that ain't get no love from me. Sitting in the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. You know, pick your favorite song. Give it a good sing. <laughs> Flamethrowers. I, I remember buying the uh, propane for a Poison concert one time at Wheatland Jam. Had uh, I was on stage with Ted Nugent doing photographs and stuff. Man, it's 105 degrees out there. We're going to do flamethrowers. I'm going, cool, yeah, that's going to be right, man. Yeah, buddy. When your camera gets too hot, I guess you take a minor break. So stop what I'm doing right now. Go to world.com. Bye. If not, you know, it's I need my bowler 7018. Magic wand. This is our scarfing tip. It's curved for your pleasure. <laughs> I'm here at Precision Welding Academy doing a product spotlight for Weld.com and Meridian Labs on their fat ass rotary grounds. I don't know if I'm allowed to say badass. <laughs> Stop that. So today we learned about different types of cups. We learned about our standard cups. Mm -hmm. Not a kid. Nothing. Metric? Nothing. I'm in the fr in the fr uh, 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 uh. We come from France. <laughs> France, we come from France. Don't forget to check out well.com and our new app coming out very soon, uh, within the next few weeks. Uh, and that will be an available that will be available on all platforms very soon. Uh, it's really, really good. Hey guys, welcome back to Weld.com. I'm your guest host, Brian Legalia. We're here at Marchman uh, Technical College. We're gonna go through a uh, open bud uh, migret, mig weld root. Mig, migret? Migret. We're gonna do some migretins. Migretins. This. <laughs> That sounds dirty. I'm not doing any McRuttons on camera. So one thing uh, one of the old timers kind of taught me was... No, your phone's not broke. I'm just messing with you. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Weld.com. It's Red Beard here, your one and only. As you guys already know, Bingo's been teaching me a lot about pipe. What'd you call this stuff? Pipe. Pipe. I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm better than him already. Man Cub over there, he's going to tack up some pipe for me, and he's going to throw it up in a 6G position. All right? Man Cub, tack it up. I already got it set up for you, bro. I got your back. You know I'm a CWI. Holy crap! What'd you do? 
Bingo said he welds this all day. That is correct. We're gonna weld a plate on the bottom of that, and it's gonna be a pen holder. We're gonna sell it for 100 bucks at weld.com. <laughs> yeah. Red? Yep. I wanna give a little shout out for... <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Mr. Sawblade Head, and I'm here to talk to you about tank safety. Camera guy, you know, this would be a good time to challenge me to a game of golf because my shoulders are not, I can't even swing a club, so you might be able to win. I wonder what that tastes like. It's dusty, it's dusty, don't taste that. Hey there, friends, what's up? Chris Ewing here, back with another video for you. There's a little bit of debate on Facebook the other day. Get that Buzz Aldrin in there so they know why it's called Buzz Aldrin. Don't get me There you go. Keep that wire right in that puddle. You just walk right over it. Cheers, Cheers Paul. buddy. Here's to a here's to a job well done. Happy Independence Day, everybody. On the bottom here. Damn, that tungsten up. You were filming that. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Weld.com. I'm Brian Legalio, and if you have any kind of TIG welder, you have one of these. And today, we're gonna cut the cord. Supposed to actually cut it. Oops. <laughs> I hope it works. Uh, for about the price of one grinding wheel, you can pick up about two gallons of this. We're actually just gonna soak this in vinegar for 24 hours. What that's gonna do is it's going to speed up our prep time because if you're welding up a lot of coupons, practice in there at the house, you don't wanna make a lot of sparks and, and spread freaking uh, sediment all over your shop and upset the wife and all that. All right guys, so it's been 24 hours. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check on the solution. I went ahead and gloved up because I don't wanna smell like pickled eggs. But that mig root, oh my lord, that mig root went in there really smooth. Very impressed. Look at the tube, look at the tube. You gotta first turn your compressor on, you gotta let it build air. She likes to be choked a little. They got side treatments. They're saying they go heavens. I told you I was gonna give you an encore. Rock and roll tequila guy here is one hell of an encore. The more you burn, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you earn. And that's been written above our board for around 30 years. Those are my Walmart shirts, the Sun's Out, Guns Out shirt. There you go. <laughs> so I go to pick up my chicks with tube tops on. Intro. Welcome to this series on... Nope. <laughs> Energize everything like it's already energized, and you pour it on the fittings all the screw fittings to make sure nothing's leaking. You know, if you're inside and you have a leak, that is not good. You could blow up. The only thing I can remember is how to hold them in place without them falling out like that. So I guess I'll figure that out as I go. About 3.3 million years ago, mankind invented the hammer. Since then, man has always wondered, can I forge a bunch of these into a hammerhead shark? What? Where am I signed up? You overcame that and kept going. And then we got this dingleberry, Bob. Dingleberry? I'm gonna call that Bob the dingleberry. Oh man, come on, bro. 